Today is the start of my posing guide for introverted wedding photographers. You're with me for a full shoot and all of the settings are on every image. Taylor Jackson. Shooting 67 weddings last year. Taylor Jackson, welcome. So Taylor, you are well known in this community. You're an amazing photographer. Good afternoon. Today's day one. We're filming for the posing guide for introverted wedding photographers. It is module one, week one. This preview is going up on YouTube, but the entire course is gonna be released on Patreon. So every Monday, I'm going to be releasing everything that we did the week before. And then at the end of the month, it's actually gonna be for sale as a standalone course. So it's gonna be $129 at the end of the month if you wanna buy it, or if you sign up for Patreon right now, you get it as it as it's created for $30. So sign up just for the month if you want. Try it out, see if you like it. Hopefully you enjoyed the ongoing content. As always, there is a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not absolutely blown away with the content on Patreon, just send me an email and I will send your money back. Uh, but hopefully from this preview, you'll see that it's definitely worth it. And it also comes with my presets and all kinds of content. There's like 120 videos on there already. Lots of lots of stuff that's going to help you book more and more and more weddings and go full time and make wedding photography your full-time life. All right, and then we'll do like B-roll. How's this, how's the light? So good. Is it good? So good, man. Am I posing correctly? Is there enough tension in my forehead? If it feels weird, then you're doing it right, Taylor. Does it feel weird? No, that's no. an incorrect, that's, that's my favorite <laughs> incorrect statement. I know. <laughs> it's, um, I think America's Next Top Model yeah, created it. Okay. And they're like, if it feels weird, you're doing it right. And I believe like the wholeheartedly the opposite. That if it feels weird, you're gonna remember how weird that feels. Maybe it's true for fashion photos that you wanna be doing something that's a bit weird and interesting, but for photos of actual couples, you want them to remember the experience as a positive thing, not as just like, whole hour of being weird with a photographer. Uh, Liam has suggested we come here to TNT Grocery to pick up a random item to use in the shoot. And I don't know what that is gonna be yet, but. I don't know either. There's out. a lot of random items here and my favorite drinks are here. Uh, there's a lot of Japanese items. They have Bakari Sweat, which is kind of Gatorade inspired by sweat. Um, it tastes more like sweat than Gatorade. And then they also have Kalpis, which they've renamed Kalpico, because I guess Kalpis is a milk. Kalpis? Uh, it's, a mil Kalpis? it's a milk beverage. <laughs> and it's literally in, in uh, Japan, it's called Kalpis, but in North America, they've changed it to Kalpico because of the fact that it's a milk beverage called Kalpis. Kalpis. Kal Kalpis. <laughs> C-A-L. I'm no more likely to get it. <laughs> they actually have the OG Kalpis, the actual real Kalpis, not a... Uh, Kalpico. So we have uh, we have here the Picari Sweat and the Kalpis, which are both not great items to be consumed when not refrigerated. Got to get a Mr. Brown, right? Yeah, look at this guy. I think we've lost focus of why we're here. So we're here to use a random item. Um, what? I, so far, I've selected three things that I want. I found the item. Good. Shoot through that. You can get some cool dragon shears. Wow. This would be an item that Marshall Angus would be into. Yeah. Here's a photo of him eating ice cream. I'm most excited for this Mr. Brown cappuccino. Pacino. Kappa, 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 chino. Kappa, 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 chino. So my strategy for posing in general is to make things look as natural as possible overall. Uh, I really don't like to do too much that's out of my comfort zone. I don't like to play games with couples to get smiles. I don't really like to um, pose like a Sears portrait photographer or a Walmart portrait photographer. Uh, I really just want couples to be themselves. And the challenging part with that is that I don't really work with professional models all that often. So when couples show up, it is their first time ever probably being in front of a professional photographer um, in a sense of just like being the three of us rather than maybe a family session or something that they've done in the past. So I want to basically get them into the flow of things, get them confident that they're actually doing a good job, which is I think one of the most important things that a lot of us overlook uh, that just like reinforce the fact that they're doing a good job if they are doing a good job and then um, keeping the momentum running. You'll see over the shoot that we move a lot, that we keep walking. Um, this one specifically because we are filming for this, it'll be a little more disjointed, but typically what I would bring is just an 85 millimeter lens, uh, my Nikon 85 1.4G 
is always a lens that I pretty much bring for engagement sessions like this as well as wedding day. It is pretty much always my main lens. And why I kind of limit myself to that is because I know that if I'm not worrying about changing cameras or um, switching lenses or any of that, that I can just focus on keeping the flow of the shoot actually running, uh, which is what kind of bridged me over the gap of somebody that was getting photos that I, I was kind of, I was fine with them. I'd get like one or two out of the ballpark shots maybe every shoot, but I wasn't really getting a full catalog until I started paying more attention to the flow and the movement of the day. And I think it's like very much like attracts like. So I tend to attract a lot of introverted couples and that makes it even more challenging for them to be their selves in front of the camera. So if I can get them walking, I can get them comfortable. Like I feel like walking is the easy thing. You'll see us do a lot of that over the shoot where if they're just holding hands, walking towards the camera, walking away from the camera, putting an arm around each other, uh, they are comfortable doing that because that's the thing that they are used to doing. Uh, when you get people standing still and wrapping both arms around each other and they're like inches apart, that is not usually a comfortable position for most people that most people would find themselves in a lot during the day. Uh, and that kind of shows in the uncomfortable of it in the very beginning um, but at some point you can kind of keep peppering that in and at some point they become very comfortable with it it's just maybe not on the first time or maybe not on the second time but at some point you get it and if you don't you just go wide <laughs> I'm excited to see what the the shears get up to though dragon shears <laughs> Me today I have my Nikon D850 and my 85 1.4G lens, which is my favorite combination. I usually just go out for a walk with this. Uh, today I also have my 35 millimeter lens in my bag here um, because I have a feeling these clouds might open up and we might get something cool, but usually I'm just on this all day. And uh, let's begin the process. I you guys posed yourselves. I like that. No, no, do, no, do exactly what you were doing. You were just kind of like hanging out like that and you were just kind of tilted into each other. So one thing that I like to do is whatever couples naturally do, I kind of just work with it and make them... Uh, do you guys want to get a little bit closer together? together? Yeah. That's good like that. And I try not to over direct at the beginning because if I over direct really hard right here, uh, they're just going to rely completely on me to do all of the posing and to move their limbs and everything like that. But if in the beginning I give them a little bit of power um, to make their own decisions and give them positive reinforcement, you guys are doing great. Usually it means for a better shoot overall and just more comfort over the entire length of the shoot that doesn't really go away, so. One of my other favorite things to do and the easiest way to get people to be super comfortable is just to get them to walk towards you. Uh, if you guys wanna hold hands and walk towards me over here. And you guys look at each other, you don't have to pretend that I'm just creeping here. And if you wanna put an arm around each other while you walk. That's awesome. Uh, I think we're gonna go around the corner to the little alley down there. Another thing I look for is just very clean textures. So up here, there are some very clean walls. So I'm gonna bring you guys right in the center up here. That looks good. And if you just wanna hold hands and just like stand side by side there, and it's just gonna be a big shot with kind of everything in it, but you guys really pop out from. And if you wanna look at each other and just be happy with each other. Perfect. And I'm gonna make you guys exactly kind of how you're smiling at each other there. I'm just gonna make you hold hands and walk towards me here. Awesome, and if you guys wanna look at me for the last ones here. You both turned perfectly at the exact same moment. That's great, those look really, really good. So when I'm looking for locations, I'm just kind of looking for different elements that stick out. Here, for instance, there's some really good leading lines. Um, so even though there's a little bit of an elevation shift, uh, if you guys wanna hold hands like right there, and even though there's a bit of an elevation shift, the lines kind of really do lead into the photo and the shutters in the background are a nice repeating texture. And if you guys want to look at each other and you know, if you want to turn into each other completely and just like put both arms around each other and get really close. Awesome. And if you want to give Meg a kiss in the cheek, maybe. Alex said, can I do that again, but just rotate you guys this way, just towards the light. And I'll just, uh, maybe a little less. Right there's good. That's good. And even if you want to close your eyes and just kind of like lean in almost. Close my eyes? Just kind of like, just like you're overly enjoying this strange moment that doesn't naturally organically happen too often, but. All right, we're going around this way. All right, I'm gonna have you guys in the center of this. Uh, I'm gonna make you walk 
just hold hands and kind of walk that way and then at some point I'll yell and you can turn around. Awesome, and if you guys want to turn around and come back towards us over here. And same deal as before, you can just kind of be really overly happy with each other and... Perfect, and if you want to put an arm around each other while you're walking too. Awesome. And I'm gonna bring you guys closer to the glass to get like a little bit of reflection here. So, we'll see if it works. Um, even if you want to kind of just get really close together, however is the most comfortable. Yeah, something like that looks good. So cute. Can I also, like, while we're here, I might get a new LinkedIn picture too. Yeah, wanna do that down here? This is like kind of LinkedIn sure. headquarters. Yeah, come back towards me this way just so you're a little more well lit. Yeah. You might even have to come way down here, sorry. Perfect. LinkedIn, profile photo, nailed it. I'll do one more horizontal just so you have options. And wood wall. You can pretty much just lean up against it. Uh, go this way just a little bit so you're... That's good. And if you just hold a hand and just kind of almost like lean into each other a little bit like that. That looks good. And if you want to look at each other and just pretend you're enjoying, enjoying the wood wall. Perfect. That looks really good. Um, can I make you hug Dave from behind? Because if Dave hugs you, it's like a super prom photo. And if you want to kind of just like almost angle your head into him a little bit. And Dave, if you want to kind of look back kind of over like that. And I know you're not going to be able to, but if you want to attempt to make kind of eye contact, like kind of looking towards each other. That looks really good. And can I make you do that? Just rotate this way just a little bit. Actually, even that. That looks really good. Perfect. And your beautiful wood wall featured again. That looks so good. Cool. All right, let's go across to, to those bushes. I don't know if they're high enough. Perfect. And if you guys want to get really close and you can like almost kiss, but don't actually kiss. That's perfect. It's like the instant, instant romance. <laughs> instant attempted romance. All right, I can have you guys in this. Uh, maybe just go past the first little bush there so you're a little bit hidden. And this will be all nice and romantic and it'll look like we just went out into a huge field. African lion safari. African lion safari. And if you want to just face each other and just get really close and just pretend that I'm like not here at all. Um, just make sure I can kind of see your faces. A little bit, that's good. And Dave, if you want to put your hand kind of up on Meg's shoulder or something like that, that looks good. And I might even do one if you guys want to hold hands and I'm going to make you walk out this way and just pretend you're like frolicking through a, a field. And you guys look at each other and... So much fun, so much fun. That's awesome. Cool. Do you want to do one where you're just like super serious in the, sure. like American yeah, Gothic? Like, yeah, like we're like. We're yeah. Like, I feel like it'll be funny like for us, if no one else. All right, serious. <laughs> All right, that's good. I got what I needed. Thanks. <laughs> it makes everything golden, we believe. And they're super crazy sharp, but I figure if I cool. get some color. So maybe let's go back in here and I can add some color to the, uh, and try to not stab myself. They're very nice. Yeah, These are very dangerous. high quality scissors. Kind of, I can make my own bushes with this, with this golden item. And if you guys just want to get really, really close together and kind of cuddle and put both arms or maybe put your arm back up on our shoulder like you had up there. They look really good. Yeah. Yeah. I really can make my own bushes. Show me like what happens with that. So how there's like kind of the golden tint over everything. That's sweet. From the scissors? Yeah, because it's like... How do you figure that out? What? So you just find where it reflects the best and what you kind of want. And then you just take a bunch while you move because you guys are moving and the object is moving. Magic. Genius. Man. Magic revealed. Magic. All right, that looks good. And if you guys want to turn around and come back towards me here. This is the Uptown uh, model shoot. You guys look at each other and just pretend you're having a great time here in with the Uptown BIA. And the wind is actually working with you guys, so that's good. Do you guys want to go into the corner over there? That's it. And just go down to like the far corner that way and just, you can put an arm around each other and just look at it that way. Yeah. And if you want to turn into each other a little bit.
All right. Uh, if you guys want to hold hands and just kind of look at it that way. All right. And if you want to turn to each other, just so I can see your face a little bit. That's great. And if you want to hold hands and you can slowly kind of walk back this way here. You don't have to go backwards. You can go forwards. Backwards. <laughs> oh, that's good. And you can look at each other like you've been doing. Perfect. And if you want to stop there, just arm around each other, smile, face me. This is the boring one that all family wants, regardless of how many cool photos we take. All right, and that concludes the video. I actually ended up staying on my 85 for the entire shoot. Uh, I have my 35 in my bag, carried it around. I was kind of hoping that we were gonna get a sunset or something interesting happening in the clouds, but we didn't. That was what I had the 35 for. Uh, my safety zone is kind of this, this 85 that I'm comfortable with. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. And if you want the rest of this series, head over to Patreon. Every Monday, the new module is going to be up. So head over there and enjoy that and get it before the end of October because October 31st, uh, it's actually removed from Patreon and you have to buy it straight out for $129. So sign up right now for $30 get the presets and get all the all the things uh, head over there there's a huge huge list 100 plus videos that you can have instantly if you are an introverted photographer and are looking for the secret to creating better images than you have ever dreamed and booking more weddings than ever before listen up good afternoon we are on our way to shoot the first video for the posing guide for introverted wedding photographers which is a system that i have been working on for over 10 years when I was first getting started, one of my biggest struggles was posing couples. I felt like I was doing the same poses over and over and over again, just in slightly different locations. My couples for sure noticed this, and quite honestly, it was a bit embarrassing. I felt bad that I didn't have any other ideas of what to do next. I'm quiet and shy, and it felt legitimately challenging to get the photos that I knew that I was capable of. I saw all the other photographers around me creating incredible work and booking so many weddings, and it was my dream to go full-time as a wedding photographer and I knew that this was something that I'd really have to figure out to start generating more inquiries and booking even more weddings. Well, over the past 10 years of shooting 60 plus weddings every single season as a single photographer studio, I've learned a lot. In the beginning, I didn't want to pose people like it was a school photo, but I also felt like I wasn't getting natural expressions out of people. It was a struggle to get my couples to relax and to forget that I was following them around with the camera. I tried everything. I brought images on my phone to reference in secret during the shoot. I came up with games to play and probably watched every video online when it came to posing. Unfortunately, none of it helped. And if anything, it made me even less myself. Then it all changed. Over my next five shoots, I just made notes of everything that worked well and I came up with a system. A system that worked for me, an introverted photographer in a sea of extroverted personalities. A system based entirely around getting natural expressions from real people without playing any silly games or going out of my comfort zone. Every season I was doing better work, weddings were a lot more fun and I was thrilled with the work I was creating. I had a few weddings printed in magazines and was even invited to speak at a conference, which is also something that is way out of my comfort zone, something that I still haven't mastered. Most importantly, by using this posing system, I actually felt like myself. I wasn't doing anything weird. My couples were having fun and I was booking more weddings than ever before. Today, I'm excited to announce that you can get in on this system for only 25% of the cost of when it's actually released. That's right, a 75% discount for the month of October. Every Monday while I build this course, I'll be releasing the modules to my Patreon page, which means if you sign up for just the month of October, you'll get this entire $129 course just for the $30 tier you join. Not only this course, but you'll instantly get access to well over 100 videos, videos like my full pricing breakdown of my 2020 wedding photography pricing list, how to generate more inquiries and referrals. You can listen to real first meetings with couples and how to massively increase your sales for next year as well as the secret to booking more destination weddings and my five key wedding photography life hacks will have you booking more weddings than ever before. And maybe the best thing I've ever created, negotiation skills for introverted photographers. Beyond that, you'll also have access to all of my Lightroom presets, which are $30 on their own. Basically, this is the greatest deal for wedding photography education ever online. My hope is that you're gonna like the content so much that you're gonna stick around, but you can leave it anytime. I even offer a 100% money back guarantee if you join and you're not completely blown away by all the incredible content already on the page. Just send me an email and I'll send you your money back. This is a $30 investment in yourself that could easily make you over $500,000 in your future full-time wedding photography career. So join today and make the first step in dominating your local wedding photography market. I'm Taylor Jackson and I'll see you inside the course. That's all. Cool. Video's done now.
we can go get Arby's.